Hi students, we are in chapter two and Miss Daisy is crazy. So do you remember the um, characters we met in chapter one la last time? Well, there's Miss Daisy. The main character in our book series is AJ. And then there's Andrea and Emily, Ryan, and Michael. But in the first chapter, we met AJ, and then Ryan had a small part, and so did Andrea, because they both had questions for Miss Daisy. But I don't think we've, we have not met Emily and Michael yet. So we'll probably get to meet them later on. And we're also going to meet a new character in Chapter 2, Principal Klutz. So I wonder what the principal's going to be like, since Miss Daisy seems pretty crazy, right? Like she's a teacher um, that doesn't know how to read, write, add or subtract. And then when AJ was like, I don't like school, she was like, well, AJ, I don't like school either. So he was very shocked by her response. Like, would you expect a teacher to say that they did, that they didn't like school either? No, it's very, it's very shocking. <laughs> but yeah, we are going to continue on in chapter two. Um, Crazy Miss Daisy and Principal Klutz. Miss Daisy said it was time for us to clear off our desk and see how much we knew about arithmetic. Oh. If I gave you 58 apples and Principal Klutz took 28 of them away, Miss Daisy asked, how many apples would you have left, AJ? Who cares how many apples you would have left, I said. I don't like apples. If you ask me, you and Principal Klutz can take all the apples away and it wouldn't bother me one bit. You would have 30 apples said that girl Andrea Young in the front of the class. She had a big smile on her face like she just opened all of her birthday presents. Andrea Young thinks she's so smart. I dislike arithmetic, I announced. You know what, Miss Daisy said. I don't like arithmetic either. You do, we all said. Sure, I don't even know what you get if you multiply four times four. You don't? I have no idea, Miss Daisy says, scratching her head and wrinkling up her forehead like she was trying to figure it out. Maybe one of you one of you kids can explain it to me. Four times four. Boy, Miss Daisy was really crazy. Even even I know what you get when you multiply four times four. But that smarty pants, I know everything, girl. Adrian Adrian Young beat me to it and got and got called on first. If you put four crayons in a row, she told Miss Daisy as she put a bunch of crayons on top of her desk, and you make four rows of crayons, you will have 16 crayons, see? And then she counted the crayons from 1 to 16. Miss Daisy looked at the crayons on Andrea's desk. She had a puzzled look, puzzled look on her face. Hmm, what do you think the word puzzled means? Puzzled means kind of confused, like, huh? Like she's kind of... Yeah, she does, she seems kind of lost. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure I understand. She said, "Can someone else explain it to me?" Michael Robertson, this kid wearing a red T-shirt with a dirt dirt bike on it, explained four times four again using pencils. He had sixteen pencils on his desk and four rows of four pencils. Miss Stacy still had a look in her face like she didn't understand. What would happen if you subtract half of the pencil? She asked. Michael took away two of the rows of pencils and put them, th put them in his pencil box. Then you would have eight pencils. We all said. Andrea Young added, half of 16 is eight. Miss Daisy wrinkled up her forehead like until it, it almost looked like an accordion. She still didn't get it. Hmm, that's kind of strange. Do you think she's acting or do you think she doesn't know? She started counting the pencils on Michael's desk out loud and using her fingers. She got it all wrong. We gathered around Michael's desk and tried to explain to Miss Daisy how to add, subtract, and multiply and divide numbers using the pencils. Nothing worked. Miss Daisy had to be the craziest teacher in the history of the world. No matter how many times we tried to explain, she, she kept shaking her head. I'm sorry, she said. It will take me a while to understand arithmetic. Maybe you can explain it to me more tomorrow. For now, we have to clean off our desk because, because Principal Klutz is, is going to come in and talk to us. 
I know all about principles. My friend Billy from around the corner, who was in second grade last year, told me that the principal is like the king of the school. He runs everything. Billy says that if you break the rules, you have to go to the principal's office, which is which is in a dungeon down in the basement. Kids in the du dungeon get to get locked up and are forced to listen to their parents' old CDs for hours. It must be awful. <laughs> Miss Daisy told us to be on our best behavior so Principal Klutz would see how mature we were. Finally, he walked in into our room. Welcome to second grade, he said cheerfully. I'm sure we are all going to have a wonderful year together. Principal Klutz said a lot of stuff about the rules of school. We're not allowed to run in the halls, and we're not allowed to chew chewing gum, stuff like that. But I wasn't listening very closely, because I kept staring at his head. He had no hair at all. I mean, none. His head looked like a giant egg. When Principal Klutz was, was all done telling us the rules of school, he asked if anyone had any questions about what he had said. Did all, did all your hair fall out of your head, I asked. Or did you cu cut it off? Everybody laughed, even though I didn't say anything funny. Miss Daisy looked at me with a mean face. Actually, it was both, Principal Klutz replied with a chuckle. Almost all my hair fell out on its own, so I decided to shave the rest of it off. That's the saddest story I ever heard, said this girl named Emily, and she burst into tears. Don't feel bad, Principal Klutz said. It could have been a lot worse. How? sniffled Emily. Well, at least my brain didn't fall on my head. We all laughed, even if, even Emily. Principal Klutz was a pretty funny guy for a principal. Any other questions? Do you have a dungeon down in the basement where you put the bad kids? I asked. Actually, the dungeon is on the third floor, Principal Klutz replied. No one laughed this time. He quickly told us that it was, he was just making a joke. And he didn't even have a dungeon at all. Principal Klutz must have felt pretty, felt bad that we didn't think his joke was funny because he invited us all up to the front of the room to touch his bald head. We did, and that made everyone feel a lot better. Principal Klutz seemed nice, but a lot of people seem nice when you first meet them. Then later on, you find out that they are evil villains who plan to take over the world. I bet he was lying about the dungeon. Hmm, do you think the dungeon was real at their school? And then you see their classroom, you see a bunch of students. That looks like the principal since he has no hair on his head, and then the students are lining up to touch his bald head, and then you see on the board, four times four, and what's four times four? Sixteen. <laughs> and that is the end of chapter two, how to spell read. Hmm. Um, since they did math in Chapter 2, I wonder if they're going to start reading um, books in Chapter 3. But we'll have to read on to um, figure out what's going to happen next time. I'll see you guys later.